My sister basically coached me on how to probably eat her vagina. Ta-ta! Never mind, that's- I used to say that. Okay. Hi! Hello! Avoir! Avoir! Okay, no, that's like- no. Ow! Y'all, I have a hair splinter. Wait, hold on, look, if you can see. Can this focus? Can you do something actually good in your life, Cam? Like, please, can you focus up? Do you see that? Okay, you can't see it. Whatever, I'll just describe it. It's like a tiny hair. It's a splinter. It's like a hair splinter! My hair is so- thickly when my hair's short or whatever i get hair splinters i need to be careful with it because it could get stuck in my hand right now like how it's stuck in my fucking hand right now that's like not fair <laughs> since today is national sibling year i decided that i wanted to look at sibling confessions on um the reddit I thought it would be fun. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna rank these. I don't think I need multiple ranks. I think all I need is normal relationship and see you in hell. Because they're, 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 they, the, 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 the. With your siblings, there should not be a line that crosses and see you in hell. Normal. Relationship, normal. Yeah. I was sexually assaulted for years by my siblings. Um, wow, that one is wild to, um, to say the least. Um, hi, today my boyfriend told me he had been raped by his two older sister repeatedly for a course of three years. Yeah, I'm not going to read this confession. I hope your boyfriend is okay. Um, I'm not reading that. Damn, okay. Consensual incest among siblings. I am of Japanese descent. For those of you who don't know, consensual incest among those of legal age is legal. Oh. My mother did have a sexual relationship with her brother prior to her meeting our father and moving to the USA. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mom said her sleeping with her brother was a loving relationship and it did bring them closing together. I am uncomfortable. I have a brother two years younger than me. We're seriously considering giving incest a try. Okay. Um, okay. How do I, I don't really know what to say. What do I say? What do I say? That's a wild sentence. I have a brother two years younger than me. We're seriously considering giving incest a try. That's it. That's like a, what type of sentence is, what, what, what the fuck is going on? Advice to you is don't go down that path. It doesn't lead a good life and leads to regret and a burden that will never go away. Um, we ended up doing it last night. Um, I can't tell if this is real. There's no- this can't- this can't be real. I can see a troll from a mile away. Consensual incest among siblings is gonna go on, um, see you in hell. <laughs> My sister taught me how to eat vagina. My sister basically coached me on how to probably eat her vagina. A couple weeks after we started having sex, We ventured into the wonderful world of oral sex. I go down her and she tell me what she liked or didn't like as I licked her. I understood that every girl is different has a specific preference for what they like and enjoy, but I feel practicing oral on my sister definitely set the baseline for how to please a woman. She was willing to give me plenty of verbal advice and do so without breaking the mood that I may have encountered if I was with the girlfriend and was able to learn in a stress-free environment because of it. I didn't read. I have no idea what I just read in the last sentence. I'm so sorry. I was completely distracted. That is fucking wild.
That is wild. There is no way this stuff is real. Isn't it amazing? My mom taught me how to do it and I showed it my sister. I'm sure they both enjoyed that. Still do. I'm seeing them both in a couple of weeks. Um, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Is this actually real? Or am I in like in a troll section? Like I actually can't tell what the fuck is going on. I actually need a Bible. I need holy water right now. And I don't even know what makes holy water. Like what makes the water holy? Okay, like you're not special. You're just fucking water. Let me look it up. Oh, perfect. I have a wiki how. Okay. Not wiki how having everything. Okay, so they're telling me that I need to create holy salt before I create holy water. Holy salt. Where can I get holy salt? Where? Obtain some water from a natural source if possible. If you can, get your water from a nearby lake, stream, or river. So I live in California. Do you really think we have lake, streams, and rivers? Exercise the water. Huh. Before combining the solid water, you need to perform an exorcism over the water? Really? There's a devil in the water? Pour the salt into water in the shape of a cross. My fat ass. It's actually flat, but there is no way pouring salt into water in the shape of a cross does something. I'm sorry. Like, it's just salt water at that point. And then you have to bless the holy water. And then you pour the water. Okay. My left butt cheek. I'm going to get a Bible. <laughs> Be right back. Oh, there's my Bible next to my clay penis. Next to my clay dildo. Um, I actually kind of found my Bible, but I found one, a little poem book. It says God in it, so. My sister taught me how to eat vagina. It's most definitely going on. See you in hell. Okay, um... I I think I want to be done. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm a less than my younger sister. Parentheses. Yes, biological. Why? Do we really need the yes, biological? Like, do we really need that? Also, like, maybe we should keep things to ourselves. Like, I don't think some things needs to be said. Like, I think some things just need to be kept in our head. And I think sometimes we just need to shut the fuck up. I know this is a confession subreddit, but you know, some things we don't need to confess. <laughs> For about a year between the ages of 12 and 14, I regularly perform canoeless. What the fuck does that even mean? Babe, I'm not a dictionary. Oh, it's all sex. Okay. Shit. Okay. And fingering on my sister. What the hell? She was 10? What is wrong with you? Yeah, you are a monster. What the fuck? No matter what I do in my life, no matter how far I went, I want to know what I did. I've never told a single person at my sister's request. She claims that it doesn't bother her and that it was okay, but I know I caused her permanent psychological damage. The worst part is that I'm still somewhat attracted to her at times. Oh my god. Did we need to add that last bit? Like, did we seriously need to add the part that you're still attracted? Like, what? You know, I may be a little harsh in saying like, yeah, you are a monster, but like, bro, that is like wild. This is a good comment, honestly. You were 12 to 14, yes. You probably knew it was wrong even then, but the decision-making capacity of a 12 to 14 year old is not mature. Ask yourself, if you could go back in time, would you do it again? If your answer is no, then just taking the fact that you're a good guy who was a fucked up kid like a lot of us. Also, dwell on it. It's not going to make- Oh, hold up, I was not a fucked up kid. Yeah, like, you were young and all that stuff, but damn, like, do we really have to put, like, I'm still somewhere attracted to her? Like, okay. Like, okay. I'm putting this in seeing you in hell. Oh, this one seems tame. I once made out with my sister. That seems tame. This is a long one. Are you kidding me? Like, babe, we don't need, like, all of this. When we were both in college, me and Jen, her, a freshman, two friends of hers convinced her to go to a rave. She asked me to join them. I think because I had a car and none of them did. I knew I was being used, but I have never been to a rave and wanted to see what was a big deal. So while I drove out to the city, found the shitty warehouse place where the rave was being held once. Okay, babe, we don't need all that. One of the friends ended up buying us tablets, ecstasy. I didn't do all the drugs, but she said that. Okay, where's the good part? So you got drugs. We were back in my car and apparently safe from being a. Oh, 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 shit. Hold on. The cops came. 
the cops came. But then the ex finally kicked in in full force, you know? I was just getting comfortable on my couch when I realized I felt sort of a warm and pleasant. I began to have strange, intense thoughts. Just rubbing my hands together, it felt so good. I became obsessed with that, rubbing my hands. I forgot about everything and I began sort of singing these songs that were in my head. Finally, it dawned on me that I've rubbed my hands, felt so good, and rubbing my penis. Without any thought that my sister was only six feet away from me on the other couch, I unzipped my pants and began to rub it, not masturbate. No, no, I only got semi hard just rubbing it and marveling at the feeling of it. So, we really had to get into the details. Oh my god, do you feel as good as I do? I quickly zipped up my pants when I remember my sister was right there. I looked over at her and she was running her hands up and at her body. I suggested she was her hands, her hands together and she did and freaked out. Kept saying how awesome as I started to do the same thing. It felt sort of, uh, that sort of bliss. Come over here and give me a massage, she said. Then I'll give you one. That sounded like such a great idea. I didn't hesitate at all. And when she complained that her shirt was getting in the wear, I swear I didn't think for a second that anything was wrong with my little sister pulling off her shirt and then her bra. I gave her a neck massage and she went nuts. She said I had magic hands. I swear I had stopped seeing her as my sister. She was just this really good girl who I was massaging, whose skin felt so great under my hands, whose butt huh whose butt my sort of erect penis kept pressing into as i massaged her this is way too detailed for um you to be you know doing this to your little sister i know you're on drugs but oh my god i feel like i should not be reading this i really feel like i'm reading someone's diary and i feel like i should not be reading this but it's public so i took off my shirt and took her place on my stomach and got a great look at her breasts okay and then out of nowhere we should try kissing and she said oh yeah yeah definitely i sat up and she sat next to me and we began to kiss and my hands didn't take long to begin on her breasts and hers didn't take long to zip my pants she actually grabbed one of my hands and moved it down to her leg also keep in mind that i probably wouldn't have been able to fuck her anyway despite how good it felt she um, I gave her an orgasm or something close, I think, using my fingers. After that, all we did it was just kiss. The feeling of her breasts in my hands was great, sure, but the feeling of her tongue in my mouth was like better than sex. Okay, this is too much. <sighs> God has a plan for each of us. And there is such a wonderful plan for you. The paths you walk and the roads you travel will take you to amazing places. After reading that, I think I want to kill myself. That one's going on See You in Hell. Moving on from the sexual side, let's go on something more, you know, tame. Um, I killed my brother. God, I fucking hate reading. Why is this a fucking paragraph? A whole essay! Also, why is it just one damn paragraph? Uh, like, why couldn't you just, like, break it up into, like, paragraphs? Uh, have you not written a rap pad story before? Oh my god! Uh, one day when I was 15 years old, I went over to my friend's house. While I was gone, my brother went into my room and played my PlayStation. I don't know what happened, but when I came home, I saw my PlayStation controller on my bedroom floor, and it was broken. I was so mad that I yelled, what the Fuck! And my brother must have heard of me. So he came out of his room and attempted to explain to me what happened, but I didn't care. I wanted payback on that little fucker. So I pushed him out of the way and went into his room and grabbed his pet hamster out of its cage. Then I took the hamster into the bathroom and closed and locked the bathroom door. My brother was pounding on the door and yelled the whole time as I put his hamster in the toilet and flushed it. You are psychotic. The hamster literally didn't do anything. That's evil. The hamster drowned. I then came out of the bathroom and pushed my brother up against the wall and told him not to fuck with my stuff or there will be consequences. Oh, I'm so scared. Huh? Actually, I probably should be scared since the title says I killed my brother. He was going to tell our parents, so I punched him in the gut and pulled him into the living room. Then I pushed him down the floor and pulled his shorts down. Oh my god, is this getting sexual? Then I took my leather belt off and whipped him in his testicles with my belt. What is wrong with you? Like, you have... You have issues! Then I flipped him over so he was laying face down and I grabbed the TV remote that was laying nearby. I swear to fucking god, if he shoves this TV remote up his fucking asshole, you need therapy or you need to go to a psychiatric ward because that is a wild thing to do i grabbed the tv remote that was laying nearby and i shoved it deep into his ass 
You need therapy and held it in there. You are evil. That is psychotic. No, like that is actually insane. For a fucking remote control, a fucking damn PS4 controller. Are we okay? Like you need help. Like really, that is like really bad. First of all, babe, you need to prep for that type of shit. Like if you like stuff up your asshole, like you need to prep. So like you need to get your douche. You need like to clean the asshole. What if the like, cages ate Taco Bell? If you shove a controller up the ass, it's just gonna be like shit everywhere. Like it's just like not like a good idea. That remote control is gonna smell so fucking bad. Like, are you like, do you not care? Like, I, you know, some people would enjoy that. I'm joking, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm literally joking. I have a dildo. Um, I'm joking. No, I don't. I'll stop. I have a cucumber. <laughs> okay, um, I got down on top of him and told him that if he tells her parents, I will do worse than this. Then I pulled the remote out of him and threw it on the floor. Ew. I told my brother to go into his room and stay there. I went into my room and watched some TV and I heard my brother crying nonstop from his bedroom. I got so annoyed with it and that I went to his room and told him to shut the fuck up. He was crying uncontrollably and he told me that he hated me and he was going to tell her parents. I told him, you better not, you little shit. <laughs> Did you? Dude, you suck so bad. And then he tried to run past me and out of her room, but I grabbed him and pulled him towards the window and pushed him out of the open window from the second story of her house. Damn, is it like really that deep? God. Oh my God. Realizing what I just did, I ran downstairs and outside to see if he was still alive. My brother was dead. You see what you just did? You idiot. I hope you go to prison. I panicked and figured that I was fucked, but then I thought of something. I could just tell my parents he fell. God, you suck. You're really just thinking about yourself in this situation. You're not thinking about your brother that's like literally dead. Eventually, an ambulance came and pronounced my brother dead on scene. My parents came home shortly afterwards and saw my brother being taken out in the body bag. They were both crying. I told my parents that he fell out the window and that I just came into his room and noticed the open window and saw him laying there. They believe my lie. My parents' relationship was never the same after the death of my brother. My mother blamed my father for his death and eventually their relationship deteriorated so much that they ended up getting a divorce. So they killed your brother and you ruined your parents' relationship. Wow, you're amazing. My mother moved out and I never saw her again. I lived with my father for about six months and eventually he committed suicide because of all that had happened at that point. So you kill your brother, your parents get a divorce, you make your dad die, he has a suicide. What's next? What's next? What is next? What's next? <laughs> what is next? Seriously, I can't find where I left off. Um, I was then sent to live in a foster home where my foster dad raped me in the shower every day and made me do heroin with him with shared needles. Oh my god, this is like really dark. Like, whoa. One day when I was 17 years old, I ran away from the foster home because I couldn't take the man's abuse anymore. I lived on the streets for a while until I eventually fell in with the local gang of drug dealers. They had me sell drugs for them. I didn't really care because I needed money to feed the heroin addiction that I picked up from living with the foster dad. I still sold drugs on the street for the dealers to this day and I recently started dating a 34 year old prostitute. I'm now 19 years old. Oh, that's like really sad. I feel like that one was like actually like really heavy. I can't tell if um, that was real or not. I honestly hope it was fake, but if it was real, that was a sad read. Like that was like even too dark to even rank in my opinion. Like, oh my God. This was a bad idea today. <laughs> my brain has deteriorated. Like it has shrunk probably to the size of a fucking peanut. I wish I didn't read these. Oh my god, that was a lot. That was, oh my god, my head, my head. You know what I just realized? I never said this the whole video. <clears throat> Hometown Alabama. We I don't know the lyrics. Hometown Alabama. Ma, ma. We going, I burn you. And boom. Oh, 